So today I want to explain, I use a lot of words in my um, videos that I don't ever explain. So I've used words like timbre, um, and they're kind of harder to explain, but especially timbre, I feel like is one that I use a lot. Um, what do I mean by that? So I don't know if you've ever heard different people's like voices and you're like, wow, their voice is really nasally or wow, their voice is just like really high pitched or their voice is really deep or, or really rich. That's timbre. So I feel like I have like a medium to, to deeper timbre of a voice. So when I sing, it's, it has a more mature sound. So good examples of this. Um, NCT Hei-chan has a very bright timbre to his voice. Do Young has a very medium timbre. So his voice sometimes can sound younger and sometimes can sound more mature, depending on what he's singing and how he's using his voice. So timbre is just kind of naturally there. Um, so you'll always have Chanyeol, deep timbre. Sehun, same way. Um, I'm trying to think of some other good examples. Moonbin, um, he actually has a, a pretty bright timbre. Vacuum, very deep timbre. Chen, bright timbre. So, so I mean, it's it's pretty obvious once you start to catch on, you're like, oh, okay, okay, okay. Johnny from NCT, deep timbre. Okay. Tay Ills is like right in the middle, which is why his vocals are so easy to listen to. So someone who has kind of like a mid timbre has more versatility to their voice because it's a lot harder for someone with like a deeper timbre to sound younger. Chanyeol always sounds older. Always. He just does. Backin is the same way. And there's a lot of other artists who, who are that way. V is another really great example. BTS V. He, he sounds older. He sounds more mature. If you just listen to his voice. Vix's Leo sounds a lot younger because he has a, a lighter timbre. Um, so that's, that's what I mean by timbre. Um, I wanted to go over something that may explain a lot. Um, I, I've never actually taken vocal lessons, but I had a choir teacher who did vocal lessons with me. So like, I didn't, I didn't really pay her for it, but because I was, um, in her class, I ended up, you know, kind of taking these, these vocal lessons and taking, um, I don't know, learning, I guess. So there's five positions and the five positions sit like this. So if this is this is five and this is one. So three is about where you talk, usually. Um, four is about where you sing for like choral pieces. So it's a little bit further back. So you have like one and then you have like four and then you have like five. It's like really throaty. And I promise if you do this vocally, you'll hear the difference. And you'll also feel really stupid at the same time, which is why I'm going to demonstrate for you because I already feel stupid explaining this. So, so you have three, which would be like, ah, that would be a three. And then you have like a four, which is a little bit more choral. Ah, and then you have a five, which is like, you're choking your own self. It's like, ah. so those are, those are the, the back three, plus the middle, because three is the middle. So number two is more forward. So the more the more forward you get, the more nasally it gets. This is where it gets fun, guys. So you have position two, which is usually where Broadway stuff is sung. So um, most of the time, if you're going to see a musical, they're gonna be singing for the majority in like two, three, maybe some four, if they're, if they're doing the choir pieces. But um, let me let me think of a good uh, Broadway piece. Ah, somewhere over the rainbow. It's a little bit brighter. It's a little bit more forward. It's a little bit more, more nasally. And the reason for that is because you can actually get a lot more power in like three to two range without it being ridiculous. So position one 
is like straight through your nose. Like the most nasally you could possibly sound is number one. And I'm going to do it. I mean, there. this is why I, I brought up Broadway is because um, Little Girls is like straight up one. Straight up one. So for those of you who don't know, that's from Annie. Um, you know, sun will come out tomorrow. Bet your bottom dollar there tomorrow. Now be sun. I mean, that's that's kind of where two and three is. But little girls sung by I I can't even remember her name. Holy crap. Um. Gosh, I always forget the words. Hold on. Okay, okay, I got it. <laughs> Some women are dripping with diamonds. Some women are dripping with pearls. Straight in the nose. Look at me, look at me, look at what I'm dripping with. Oh, little girls. So it's extremely nasally. And what's really fun is once you know this, it's like, you can place different accents in different positions. So a, a Boston accent is like a number two, which makes sense. That's why Broadway sometimes I think it's sung there because that's that's where it originated, right? Anyway, so next time you're listening to music, you can identify kind of where they're sitting. Jazz and blues um, sometimes will get a little throaty but that doesn't always necessarily mean that they're dropping back into like a four or a five. They're just adding a, a throatier tone and a throatier vibration to what they're singing. Um, quickly, if you didn't know the difference, there is, you know, just singing, ah, and then you have vibrato, ah, which is where your voice kind of shakes a little. And it, for me, vibrato was really natural, but I actually used to purposely sing without it. So you can, um, once you've learned, you can do both. Um, whistle tones. I am awful at whistle tones, but I had someone explain to me how you're supposed to do it. It's like right in between like that scream and supersonic, that's where whistle tones live. And you really have to work super hard to be able to sing whatever pitch you want in whistle tones. Um, I live in an apartment and don't want a uh, noise complaint, so I'm not going to demonstrate that for you. But um, let me know if you guys have any more music questions. But um, that is kind of a, a brief summary slash music lesson for you. Um, if you want me to explain anything further, please let me know in the comments. Um, I do read all my comments. If you like the material and you want to see more, comment, like, subscribe, all the fun stuff. Um, anyway, thanks so much. Take care. Have a good one.